Hi, this is Tim Clark from the Department of Ag and Markets, Division of Land and Water Resources. Today I'm looking at a workflow to bring survey point data into CAD for the least expense possible. And now you might be interested in this workflow if you were thinking about getting a total station, but then looked at the costs for Civil 3D and thought, oh boy, this is something we can never do. So this could be an intermediate step between getting a total station and then signing on for the whole Autodesk Civil 3D uh, uh, pricing scheme. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take point data from a total station. We're going to import that into SET, which is part of EFT. Now EFT is a package produced by the federal government for NRCS field staff uh, to do fairly complicated designs um, without the use of AutoCAD or Civil 3D. So it's basically a survey manipulation tool and then a design tool. Um, it has a waterways and uh, terraces design components. Uh, it's pretty neat. I think you'll like it. Okay, then from set we're going to make a PDF and then XREF that into AutoCAD LT um, and then translate it and rotate it into the right spot. So here you see my survey data. It's a PENZD file um, that's point Easting, Northing, Elevation, and Description. Uh, these descriptions are all just ground shots. And now you'll notice there's a lot of negatives in here. I, I don't like to see that, but we're going to translate that into a different coordinate system inside set. It's pretty easy to do that. Um, it would be fairly easy in Excel too. You would just add, uh, add numbers to columns and create new columns. But we're going to do that inside set and leave this intact. So let's jump over to EFT and see what that looks like. Now, quick, quick note on this. I'm using an older version of EFT. It's not the one currently available from the NRCS website. Uh, that current version is missing a component. They couldn't quite get it to work in the latest release. So I'm going to wait and upgrade until they can have that fixed. Um, so when you open up EFT, um, you'll see kind of a, a dialog like this. You want to go to File, New Survey Design create a new customer. I'm going to do a new customer for this course. Uh, a new project. Uh, maybe it'll be a heavy use area. And then a new survey design. We'll just do survey one. Okay, and that'll get you to kind of the main dialog box. This is we enter in information that you would put on the title block. Uh, it'll actually repopulate from here to a title block uh, when you create your sheets. And uh, we're, we're going to mostly skip that for now and come down here to the survey window. We need to do a new survey. We'll just do the same name, survey one. And the, the type of survey we're doing is an XYZ survey. That's the only option for importing data into EFT. You can do station offset and radial, but that's more for uh, if you have survey notes that you've done in the field and you want to uh, reduce them inside EFT, uh, th that's what those are for. So click OK and it gives you the point list. Obviously we don't have any points in right now. So we need to come down to import data and find that CSV file that we had from uh, Excel. So take a sec. Um, Okay, it'll preview the data and that looks about right. Go to next. We need to tell it what format it's in. It's in PENZD. Uh, that's uh, like we discussed before. And no meters to feet conversion. We already have it in feet. It'll ask it, you to delete duplicate points and go ahead and do that. That's fine. Okay, and then here's all the points, all the negatives and all. So. One of the little drawbacks of EFT is that it won't show you your data until you close whatever operation you're doing. So in order to see these points in this uh, plan view, you have to close the survey. Uh, there's no save either, it just saves automatically. So uh, here you see a couple triangles and a grid. You can do the view extents button to, to see the whole thing. So this is basically you know what we want. We have the contours and the triangles. Uh, with, with all the save, all the survey data too. So uh, remember, I said before we were going to move this a little bit uh, to get it out of the negatives. Uh, to do that, you go back into the survey, open it up, do 
do a point translation. Open that by clicking edit. We're just going to move it 500 north and 500 east. That'll get all those values positive and we'll have a, a better, uh, better grid to work with. Click OK. And then it won't move it until you close this again. So you go ahead and close that. It'll ask you if you want to create a new uh, exterior boundary. And you want to do that. Just use the, the Generate Convex Hull option. It disappeared, so use View Extents again. And it shows you all, uh, all what's up there. Alright, uh, the next thing I want to do is kind of clean this up so that there's less, uh, less stuff on it. I'm just going to turn off a bunch of layers and uh, change the color on these contours so that they're black uh, instead of you know red and purple. To do that, you just unclick the check marks over here. I'm actually going to turn off all the survey info, turn off the ground points and the border, triangles, break lines, turn off the grid too. Then I have just these three contour labels. I'm going to change that to black. Okay. Change this one to black too. And this one. All right, so I got all my things. Uh, it looks looks good. That's all the, the things I want to display. Now I just need to make a sheet for this uh, to be able to print it. Um, so I come over here to Sheet Data, right click, do New Map Sheet. Drawing name, this is just what, what appears in the, the file list over here. We'll call it Plan 1. The sheet title, Plan View. Sheet size, we want to do a D size landscape. And then uh, print scale, you might have to experiment with this, but I'm pretty sure 20 scale will work far, fine for this, uh, this job. Click OK. And then it gives you kind of a, a viewport window, and then you need to click and drag to move this to the correct spot. So I'm going to click, drag it up here. Okay, and that's basically what the sheet is. Okay, so to uh, if you want to um, change any of the, the layer settings, like add triangles or add break lines or something, to update the plan, you need to go back to plan, right click, save map layer config. Uh, that's just a little, that's how EFT saves those uh, layer settings. Uh, so beware of that. If you just turn stuff on and off, it won't automatically save it to the to the plan that's checked down here. So if we preview this, we can do right click, preview sheet. Okay, you need to save it first. That's fine. Go ahead and save. It's going to create a preview. And then we're just going to save that to our hard drive. Okay, it shows up here in this tile over here. You can expand that. And uh, that's basically what we wanted. So I'm going to rotate this by doing Control shift minus into landscape. I can see it a little bit better. Everything looks good. So I'm going to save this to my hard disk. Right, I'm going to save over this file, but you can name it whatever you'd like. And then when we try and bring this into CAD, we can check the scale by measuring the scale bar. All right, that'll be pretty easy, but we don't have a way to reference it onto our AutoCAD grid. So to do that, I'm going to just note, note down what this coordinate of this lower left viewport window is. Uh, we're just going to go back to EFT, back to the main part. Okay, scroll over a little bit. Zoom in on this corner a few times. And then I'm just going to hover over the corner and see what the easting and northing values are. You can see them down there, 35.77 and 254.02. I'm just going to write those down on a scrap of paper and uh, use those to reference the PDF to the AutoCAD grid once I get it in there. All right, so here we are in AutoCAD. I have a blank file open, and I'm going to attach that PDF and uh, move it around so that it uh, matches the grid. Now, uh, this is AutoCAD LT 2013. I think you need version 2010 or later to XREF PDFs this way, um, but hopefully you have a version that new. Uh, so to get into uh, XREF Manager, I'm just going to type XR.
Okay, come up here to uh, the attach button. I'm going to do attach PDF. Okay, and then find that PDF that I saved from EFT. It's this one. Okay, and now for the scale, I'm going to type in the scale. I'm going to type in 20. Um, and insertion point, I'm just going to put it at 0, 0. That's fine. And rotation, uh, I'm going to do that manually once I get it in there. And do OK. All right. I'm going to do Z for zoom, E for extents, and that should bring up your uh, whole drawing. And you can see it's rotated 90 degrees. It's not quite the right rotation that I want, but I'm going to rotate this uh, manually just to, to make sure it's done right. So I'm going to do rotate, select that object, enter, and then I'm just going to rotate it around the corner here. All right, then it's now it's in the in the right coordinates. Now I need to, uh, or it's in the right uh, angle. Now I need to move it to the right coordinates. Uh, to do that, I remember I have my uh, cheat sheet here. It said uh, the lower left hand of this viewport box is supposed to be a 35.77 comma 254.02. So I'm just going to draw a line uh, at those points. Type in L. Specify first point. I'm just going to type those numbers in, 35.77, comma, 254.02. Okay, and that's going to start a line at that point. So the end of that line I can put anywhere. I'm just going to put it over here, uh, make a little squiggle so I know, you know, what, uh, what end I'm supposed to drag it to. And now I'm just going to drag this, uh, this object up to, um, up to there. I'm going to use the move command. So I'll escape out of that. I'm just going to click on this. AutoCAD knows that that's kind of like an object, so it's snapping to it. I'm going to grab that, move it up here. Okay, and then it's moved. So if I, you know, if I hover over here, uh, it shows I'm at the. Uh, I'm at that point, 3577-25402. So now my contours are you know, correctly referenced to the grid and that they're at, they're at the proper angle. Um, now if you, have, uh, if you have an intern or something, you could trace over these. If not, you're kind of stuck uh, just using it as a background um, image. Uh, you might say uh, if you wanted to have more control over these contour labels, you might not display them in uh, your PDF and then type them in in your in your AutoCAD design instead. I think there's lots of ways to kind of utilize this and you know I don't have that I totally worked out because I don't have a, uh, a specific application for it but uh, I think this this can be a useful way to you know, generate contours uh, for free and then bring them into AutoCAD uh, LT if that's what you have or even uh, regular uh, regular AutoCAD if that's what you have. Alright so I hope you can uh, use this workflow for something or that it gives you some ideas for other great things to do. Thanks for tuning in.